Hi, this is Dale from vhorizon.co.uk and today I'm going to show you a brief video on how to install a VMwareView 6 connection server. Uh, it's fairly straightforward so I thought uh, a video would be uh, quite enough rather than a full on blog post. So essentially uh, the VMwareView connection server sits just above uh, the, your vSphere deployment and uh, it controls access to uh, all your VDI and RDS applications and uh, desktops. Okay, so we have within the same package you can deploy also a VMware View security servers. They're only really required if you require external access uh, to your deployment uh, for mobility, etc. Okay, so we switch back to uh, a VM that I've just created for this purpose. I've got the main VMware View connection server package ready to roll. So let's uh, let's deploy it. Okay, so here's the start of the wizard. We click next here and accept the license agreement. And of course, take all the time we need to actually read the agreement, uh, just like everybody does. Uh, click next. And for the moment, this is going to be the first connection server within the uh, within the deployment. So we're going to choose a view standard server. When you go to add a, a second server, a second connection server to your deployment, then that's when you choose a view replica server. There's no database requirements for this because it uses a local copy of an AD Adam Bay database, uh, which is uh, then synced between two uh, connection servers. Uh, so for view 6, you've helpfully got the uh, HTML access uh, installed by default here, so leave that checked as well. So this allows a uh, clientless access to your view desktops and applications. Okay, so the next stage is you enter data recovery passwords. Uh, this is to ensure that you can actually recover the connection server stored data in the event of a, of a major outage on your VMware view system. Okay, so I'm just going to enter the passwords in here. Of course, make sure you write these down and keep them in your DR plan somewhere. Okay, the next screen is fairly standard for most applications these days. Uh, it's configure Windows firewall automatically. Um, Leave that checked, it's fine, although I guess in most organizations this is a Windows file is generally off um, and not really trusted, so we just click next on that. Okay, so to log in, to be the first person to log into a view administration console, you can uh, choose a specific account or group or just uh, the local administrators. Uh, for my test domain, the local uh, vHorizon domain admin is absolutely fine. Uh, so here's your uh, anonymous data prompt as well next, so we'll uh, untick that. We don't want to send anonymous data on my lab up to them. And click install. Okay, so the first VMware View connection server is installed. Uh, so as you see, it was fairly painless. There's not too much to worry about there. Fairly straightforward. Uh, so we just untick the show readme file, so we don't need to see that. Click finish. So now that's installed, we can open up, open up the View Administrator console. I don't have Flash on this VM, so I'm just going to switch to my desktop and open it up there.
Okay, so we see the default page is working. The users see when they try to uh, go directly to the connection server, and we can probably now log on to the administration console. Okay, so there we have it. It's a blank connection server waiting uh, a product key and uh, some configuration. Thank you for watching. For any more details, please go to vhorizon.co.uk. Thank you.